Hello, hello, beautiful Capricorns. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're new, I welcome you here. I don't have my coffee, but I'm having coffee with Capricorn anyway, because I've already had my coffee. <laughs> you were with me in spirit, Capricorn. So let's find out what's going on for Capricorn spirit. What about Capricorn? What are the things that Capricorn needs to see, know, or hear for their higher good? Capricorn, please, what's going on for Capricorn? Meditation and stillness. The deep quiet. Somebody is doing some time by themselves. Thinking about things. What about Capricorn? Hmm. Sky riding. The fates. Resonating. Preparations coming into fruition. The Divine Feminine. There's some sort of dream thief that's been around uh, Capricorn. Somebody trying, refusing the call. Someone feeling like they've disowned themselves. Hmm. Well, if there's a dream thief or around Capricorn they disown themselves sky dancers here surrendering yeah choices and the consequences of their dream thief actions just saying radical acceptance here it's like somebody is getting the consequences of being a dream thief here stealing the dream oh well joyful news here you're getting inspired there's some stranger that's curious being curious about you you're someone is feeling like a lost compass and they're getting back into integrity Somebody is feeling the consequences of their actions for being a dream thief. Possibility for a union here. Ancestral wisdom is here and rising above the fray. Now, closing the door. Somebody has had to close the door, but I see it's been left open just a little bit here. So it's like not fully closed. It's like someone is waiting for someone to change or something did change just to keep that door open a bit. You're rising above the fray here with the eyes of the eagle. Hmm. And maybe someone has an eagle eye on you. You're just being inspired. You're being creative. It's like... The divine feminine energy is here of being abundant. Huh. No wonder people got their eye on Capricorn. Not just an eye, an eagle eye. You. <laughs> confidence in your magic. You have the magician's sword. Now, somebody could uh, be wanting reconciliation here. Mm, the empty well here. Time to replenish. Somebody is protecting their future. It's like saying it's been a gestation period. It's taken time. You're the benefactor of grace and generosity here, so it's great and full. There's some type of revelation that has occurred here for Capricorn. So somebody around Capricorn stole the dream. There was a dream thief. They're feeling the consequences of their actions here. I'm just saying, it's like somebody when they 
did this it's like s someone disowned themselves it's faded here the fates are here it's skywriting it's a new beginning you're the benefactor of uh, grace and generosity here Capricorn you're protecting your future you're whole wielding this magician's sword here confidence in your magic uh, you're getting pretty creative here. Inspired. But someone's got a watchful eye on you. See what's going on here for Capricorn. What's this all about for Capricorn? You. Hmm, perhaps you're being watched over. A partnership it's to do with a partnership forgiveness yeah because they're feeling the hmm. there's this novice again they've hit a tower whoever this is it could be someone younger or someone who is immature or someone who stole the dream it was like I'm sensing that somebody could have gone to a younger energy the truth has come out but spirit is telling you yeah there is communication here you are the queen receiving messages of joy Something is going to be birthed or a rebirth in a situation. Accepting help from another, delegating authority. Hmm. You could be a boss or you could be in a position. Hmm. Somebody has faced some kind of wall here and become independent and setting healthy boundaries. It's in a love situation. Somebody was cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage, knowledge and healing here with the serpent. Somebody's going through a transformation, trusting the psychic gifts. So it's almost as if thoughts, words, intellectual analysis here. It's like things are just calm. Things are calming out. Hmm. Creative action and optimism is coming back in. Somebody took a risk. I'm a lot wiser for it now, I can assure you. And somebody could have been like in their emotions and their feelings. But Capricorn is just getting good luck. Being industrious, you have a sweet victory. Somebody's letting go because somebody was in their ego. Somebody it set off a bunch of synchronicities, a bunch of events. Hmm. Not liking that energy. You're being, uh, this is you, the earth fairy. Physical health, grounding, and foundations is here. So you're building on it. Yeah, something had to end before it could be rebirthed. 
something was a burden. But it's a perception here. It's how we perceive something. Yeah, fear. Trust. So someone's afraid to trust again. Standing in your power and your strength here, I'm just saying. Cutting off anybody who's not for your higher good. This is what this is saying here. You're divinely protected. I'm. You're protecting yourself. Hmm. Someone took uh, pride in taking leadership, creating something. You're putting a plan together of wealth. You're the high priestess. Discernment. Prophecy and visions of wealth here. Loyalty. Sincerity. Unconditional love. And now it's like... It's almost as if... Yeah, I, this novice over here, the dream thief. Okay, if there was a third party situation now, it could be in romance or at work or partnerships of some type. Somebody is angry and want to retaliate because they're jealous. Hmm. Deception. That's who. You're just working on your abundance. You're connected to spirit. You stand in your integrity. And it's like you have a connection to the angelic realm. So, whatever. Yeah. There's been some storyteller around telling stories, but... Whatever this journey is for you, Capricorn, it's abundance. You have sincerity, unconditional love, discernment, prophecy, and visions here. And you are working on your wealth. You're, you're working on your abundance. Hmm. Capricorn. You know, you can't fool a high priestess. What's ever going on? It's like, trust your instincts because you can't put anything over a high priestess or a high priest. It's not going to happen. Someone wants, this is a commitment. This is a new opportunity and it looks as though you are grounded, you're stable. That is unconditional love. That is loyalty. That is being grounded. You're receiving a blessing. But there was a dream thief. Okay? That is facing your fears. This is a commitment. This is a legacy. This is <clears throat> a long-term situation. This is past. Receiving past life legacy of some type. Karmic rewards. You are the magician. You are manifesting abundance. You are manifesting Abundance. There is a divine union here. With a commitment. 
with a long-term commitment. Long-term, this is a power couple. Okay, so whether you're a masculine or a feminine uh, Capricorn, you are abundant as heck. It's a power couple. Because you stood your ground. Someone uh, had to, two paths to choose from. You learned to set up boundaries. It's like you became single, but whoa single and abundant you're not only the high priestess you're this empress <laughs> oh there was a tower all right but you are wielding the magician's sword there's magic behind this sword you see everything clearly this is honest communication seeing things clearly and it's like Oh, a new beginning for you. There's been a heartbreak. Whoa. What a drama. Jesus. Cleaning up the baggage, emotional baggage. I don't know what this is. Only you will know, but you're moving forward. Someone wants to take things to calmer waters. Hmm. Somebody may have rejected somebody in the past or was ignoring them. I don't think you're divinely protected here. It's like there's a new beginning. Hmm. Third party involvement. Maybe somebody who now wants there's an emperor energy who uh, yeah, had an option here. That's the dream thief. This karmic is the dream thief, and it's also this emperor could have been the dream thief. Well, as above, so below, high priestess here, and the high priestess. <clears throat> couldn't choose, was in denial. They're getting karmic justice here. <clears throat> and when the King of Cups appears, no, that's why my throat chakra keeps closing. Every time this King of Cups is around, that's what happens. They don't express their emotions. They have them, but they don't express them. You're moving forward. You are, again, the High Priestess there is jealousy around you. I'm just saying. Karmic. Yeah. Dream thief. This karmic they went to was a dream thief. And now there is this hermit. Soul searching. Reflecting. Yeah. There was a dream thief. Ooh, soulmate, twin flame, solid foundation, strength and courage. Yeah, somebody was deceptive, giving to two, and now they want to reach out and communicate for this happy family. They know where their happiness is. They want to speak a truth, come towards you, have a victory. Hmm, there is fear here now. Because they were probably juggling. And that's why things ended. You just took your power back is what I'm seeing. They're very, you're very attractive. You're a go-getter. You are stable, unconditional love, abundant. They now want to work on happiness, heal. But someone wants to retaliate. I'm just saying. They are watching you. There's someone watching you. They're sad. Want to apologize for walking away to someone else. They want to take leadership here. Your divine union. 
king and queen of wands, king and queen of pentacles, uh, high priest, high priestess. I mean, just saying, you can't mess with a high priest or a high priestess. Somebody saw through the illusion. Okay, they saw through the illusion. That's what this read is all about, seeing through the illusion. There's one magician here, and you hold the sword. Okay, so whatever this little novice over here was doing, this little shiny toy, dream thief, it's all been seen through. There is no smoke and mirrors left. A just very dangerous move to make when you're trying to steal the dream from a, a high priest or a high priestess. I don't think they realize what they're messing with there. But I can tell you right now that you are uh, on the road here to abundance. You have all the tools required to do so and you're doing it and all I can tell you is you're very powerful as a team that's why this person came and interceded can you imagine the amount of power behind a high priest and a high priestess they're unstoppable and Capricorn what's ever going on in your situation you Hold the sword of truth you are the magician and you are manifesting abundance love and finances it's almost as if you've been given the tools to manifest whatsoever it is that you want Any words of wisdom for Capricorn? Words of wisdom for Capricorn. If you're not reconciling with a past person, that's who's lined up for you in your future. If you are single, you're manifesting great wealth. Singled or coupled or waiting, it doesn't matter. You have the sword, the magician's sword. And you are manifesting a great deal amount right now. It, it, it's... Tell me words of wisdom. Yep. Standing up for yourself, seeing your self-worth. It's like you may have people who are angry at you for doing this. Oh, there's that divine union again. But I'm telling you right now, you cannot, you cannot, uh, they don't stand a chance. Okay, right now, they do not stand a chance. They want to retaliate or be angry or whatever this is. They don't stand a chance, whatever this is. Whoever this dream thief is, it could be work, could be a third party at work. They're going to fall. They're going to crash. It's that simple. They will have consequences to whatever they do against Capricorn. They will, the tower will hit, it will crumble, and it will fall, and there will be consequences to it. It is that simple. You are the powerhouse right now. Capricorn sees the day. Take care.